Welcome back, everybody, to the Seven Days to Die Insane Nightmare tutorial series. I'm an old guy gaming, and we're picking up right where we left off in the last episode. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest this cobblestone and cement here. And then we're going to go back to the trader, and we're going to get another either fetch and or clear quest from him. And then the next thing we need to do is we need to start looking for a place to base up nearby the trader. So I hope you guys enjoy this episode today. And let me just take a moment to say that if you guys find value in this video, if you enjoy it, if you're entertained by it, if you are learning from it um, and you have not yet subscribed, please consider doing so. It doesn't cost you anything at all. And it does definitely help the channel. Um, also be aware that we do have a membership program. If you hit the join button, you can see three different tiers of membership with different perks. And if that looks like something you might want to uh, be a part of, I'd be glad to have you on the channel. And finally, thank you very much for taking time out of your day to watch an old guy gaming. Okay, let's get started here. So uh, we got a, a passing gas box up here that we're going to grab. Uh, so let's do that now. Let's see if we can get up here without bonking our head. And um, then we're going to go back to the trailer, like I said, and uh, see what other jobs we can take from him and then look for a base so let's see if we can get something good out of here oh that's actually a nice find in fact both of those are nice finds we'll take that if we can find the bicycle chassis um you know then we're in good shape but we're going to take you know the engineering points anyways uh whether we find the chassis or not so uh oh we got somebody's attention Where are they at? Hey, can you come over here, buddy? Yeah, he's going to be dumb. Um, all right. We don't want to... If he breaks that, he's going to be able to come over here. So, why don't we do this? Over here, stupid. Right here. There you go. Okay. Out of stamina. All right. Let's just wait for stamina. I think we're going to... Yeah, that's actually in pretty good shape. It's all about the stamina, man. There we go. Okay, so we took care of him. Uh, the game's going to be a little bit dark in the early uh, early playthrough because I don't have any sor source of light. Well, I guess we do have a torch, but... I uh, just got to keep that in mind. All right, now we're going to want to come around here. We'll check this stuff. Got some oil. We want to actually hang on to that oil because we'll need it to make wheels if we do it. Well, when we make a vehicle, whether that's a bicycle, mini bike, or whatever it happens to be. And you know what? I don't think I've finished actually looting back here. So let's do that real quick before we go back to see the trader. It's uh, 1,700 hours, so it's starting to get on in the day, but not, not really bad. You know what else I'm going to do, too, is I'm going to actually harvest these. won't take very long, and we'll get a pretty decent amount of stone out of these, so let's do it. Yeah, we got 100 stone out of that deal. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I thought I heard something. Okay. Let's head on out. Back to the trader. Uh, we're going to just leave this here. We can use it again if we end up needing to do so. And we might uh, look at one of those buildings over there as our base because there's not really anything else out this way uh, that I can see. And I don't want to be real far away from the trader. Uh, we could also maybe look at possibly doing something with the church. But I'm thinking maybe one of those places over there is going to be better. Okay, so let's go this way. We still have that wolf sitting over there. Look at that. He hasn't moved since we started. Okay, he's not somebody we want to tangle with right now. It'll just take way too long for us to kill is the thing. Let's go 
go around the corner here. We, oh, there's a, there's a lumberjack over there. Larry the lumberjack. We do not want to tangle with him at all. Let's see if we can actually send... Well, he's already kind of walking away from us, so... Okay. Now, we gotta watch out for the wolf. Shit. There's a Larry the Lumberjack right there. Okay, let's distract him. Yeah, don't get caught on the stairs, dummy. The wolf is right there. I don't, I'm not worried about getting into the trader, but we don't want them to pin us down either. Okay, let's talk to Wrecked. Why did we have to end up with Wrecked? This guy's such an asshole. <laughs> Holy shit, I thought you were a zombie. All right, so let's take a look at your inventory first. Um, we'll sell that to you. He doesn't want that, and neither do I, because we just can't really do much with it at this point. Don't really want the iron right now, either. Oh, we need to wear this. And I think everything else we want to... Uh, we want to keep. I don't care about the goldenrod either. So we got one coin. Look at us. Look at us in our bad cells. We got one freaking coin. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? Wouldn't you know it? Okay. All that damn gawking at goods and that's all you buy? Okay, so let's take the next closest uh, clear or fetch, which is going to be this. I don't like you. Oh, where's this at, though? That's the other thing. We don't want to go into the snow. Do something for me. You crowd zombies in the Old West Strip. I'd say it's been an honor to work with you. Okay, where's that at? Lie. So we don't we want to avoid anything to the east. Okay, so I think we'll be okay up there. Old West Strip. I wonder if that's a a little ghost town up there. That's a little bit of a trek away, but it's not terribly far away. All right, do you happen to have just out of curiosity? You have a mini bike chassis, but you don't have a bicycle chassis. Just looking to see what else he has here really quick. Got a pistol. A little bit out of our reach at the moment, though. Okay, well, he doesn't really have a whole lot that we need right now. Okay, so let's head on back out of here. And I'm actually going to go back and jump off the backside here. And our next goal here is to secure a base location for us to, to hunker down. Okay, there's Baldy. We want to go the same direction he's headed in. So what we're going to do, see if we can distract him away from where we're going. Okay, that one didn't work. Sometimes they ignore the rocks. You have to sometimes you have to throw them a few times to get them to actually notice it. Okay, let's throw through the tree. He just doesn't give a shit, does he? There he goes. Okay. All right, let's bail off the side here. We should be okay to go this direction. We'll take a look at uh, these buildings over here. We could set up shop in that garage there if we wanted to. Yeah, watch out for the wolf. Let's go kind of this direction. The bad thing about being in this location is a lot of the quests he's going to give us are going to be out in the snow biome. But, you know, who knows where the next trader is. We're, it could be a long ways away. So we're going to have to make this work. All right, so we have the option of the firehouse there or this house here that we could live in. Um, let's see if there's anything on the other side of the firehouse before we make our decision here. We've got iron and nitrate deposits nearby and a coal deposit, so that's good. Actually, very good. This already has 
a partial wall around it too, which could be useful. Yeah, I don't see any more buildings past this point uh, that's not in the snow. So I think I'm kind of favoring the fire station. Kind of favoring the fire station. So let's um, let's see if we can uh, take this place over. I'm gonna loot this car here. You never know what you're gonna find in a car. Five feathers. All right, we'll take five feathers. Those things make a lot of noise. Okay, so let's see. We want to decide how we're going to do this. We have to be systematic about it. Like uh, we talked about in yesterday's episode, we want to make sure that we're using the uh, environment the building to block zombos so we're not taking them on directly because we're not prepared to do that quite yet we will eventually get there but we're not quite there yet so i just want to look around the building see we got a we got a bow zombie there let's get rid of him because we don't want you know zombos along the outside causing trouble for us while we're trying to get inside So he's buggered off that way. All right, well, let's go ahead and start with the front door. And then just kind of see how far we can get here. Oh, crap. Larry the Lumberjack. Go away, Larry. So... The, now, the, now our first goal, our immediate goal here, is to try and get inside and secure a place inside. So that way, if you know zombies come from the outside, because we have a, a Larry the Lumberjack and a Baldy over there, um, you know we can protect ourselves from them while still also protecting from anything on the inside. So let's get this flagstone block ready. And very quietly go in here. Okay, this is really good because we have this little anteroom here that we can... Uh, just make sure nothing's potentially going to jump on our head from up there. Uh, that we can kind of defend from both interior and exterior threats. The only problem with this setup is that we can't lock that door because of the direction it's heading in so i'm going to temporarily put some frames here just to buy us a little bit of time in case something comes that way and we're gonna have to we're gonna have to block from out here and we might as well just use this no reason not to I'm going to make another one for so I always have one available, though. That way, anything coming from here, we can just fight right there and not worry about them breaking that. Okay, so good. We've secured uh, from the outside. I'm curious about this, this ladder um, here and the steeple-ish thingy above it. I want, I want to go up there first because I want to make sure nothing's going to drop down on our head from up here. Okay, so there's nothing on the ledge. Whoops. Okay, we just got somebody's attention. Um, let's close that. I'm not sure where that zombie's at, but at least now they can't just drop right down on our head. Okay, so what are we dealing with here? Sounds like they're trying to get in from the outside. Okay, we got Larry the Lumberjack, so let's deal with him. I'm not too worried about him because he's not going to be able to get to us. He's going to take a little while to kill, but and unfortunately we can't get to his head, so we're just going to have to kneecap him. All right, this is not a good situation, so here's what we're going to do here. We're going to block this in. 
So these guys can't get to us. Okay, these guys are actually the bigger threat, so let's deal with them first. Okay, let's just uh, reinforce these a little bit more. Oh, he's uh, doing a number on this, isn't he? Let's get it repaired back up. Okay, I'm going to drink this now because uh, our stamina is not in good shape. No power attacks, just normal attacks. Okay, we got... Oh, we got those guys out of the way. Okay. By the way, I should have mentioned this to you guys earlier, but um, I have not seen your comments from episode one before I started recording this one, so just kind of keep that in mind. All right, come on, Stamina. Now, this guy is such a pain in the ass to kill. All right, now you see why I'm so afraid of Larry the Lumberjack and the Snowbile. <laughs> it took a long time to kill him. Whew, okay. We got her done, though. Um, I think I want to do something different here. Uh, we do have Bo still out there. Let's get him away from here for a second. Okay, so what I'm going to do is pick this up. And I want to put something up here. Oh, shoot. The damn light's in the way. I want to put something up there to prevent them from, from jumping up. So that way, you know, they'll stay down below and we can just whack them in the head. Okay. So let's just put a, a frame up there. How much wood do we have? We have 131 pieces. That's not a ton of wood. Okay. So now if they come to the front door, they're, they're not going to jump up and we can whack them in the head. We could even try and pull Bo over here going to be a long shot with this bow. Nah, let's not waste our last arrow. Okay, so we survived that encounter. That could have gone a lot worse for us than it did. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep... Um, that doesn't need to be there. We're going to keep this here. I've got a different idea. Let's take this out. Actually, no, let's not take that out. Let's take this out. We're going to try a little trick here that is useful in these situations. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a hatch, a wooden hatch. And what you can do with these is you can put them up that way, except for like so. Okay, now let's put that in there. All right, so what this will do, if you didn't already know this little trick, is um, <clears throat> this will stop Zombos, but if we open it, we can go through it. So that gives us a way to retreat back to here quickly, close that, and then, you know, fight anything that comes through without having to worry about placing blocks down, oh shit, multiple times and, um, you know, having to pick it back up, upgrade them break them, pick them back up, you know, that sort of thing. So it works out pretty good. Just these little tactics that you use to keep the zombies away from you, but allow you to get to them. So crawlers are a pain in the butt because sometimes they can come up over the tops of these. So let's actually see if we can nail him with our spear. Okay, he did. Okay, let's go back in here again. I hear footsteps, but that's just Bo outside. Okay, that door's locked. That door's unlocked. Let's 
just kind of looking around. We've already aggroed a lot of the Zeeks in here, which is a good thing, of course. Uh, we need a cooking pot. And yeah, we got some pumpkin seed. Some coffee would be nice. Check sinks for wrenches and blueberry seeds and shotgun shells. We can use this place um, to, to store some stuff for now, too, if we want to. How about some food? It's not precisely what I had in mind. Pick up the chairs for wood. Okay. So that's all that we can get out of there for the moment. Let's go take a look in here. I think that sleeper noise is coming from upstairs. Nice. I'll take that. You know, we're overweight, too. Um, but what I think we're going to do, at least for the moment, is let's store some stuff in the kitchen here. We can close that door if we need to. And I'm just going to put a few things in here for now. Stuff that we don't need right this moment. Okay, so it is nighttime, but we are safe and sound. Um, inside this uh, fire station. We're still in the process of clearing it, of course, but at least we don't have to worry about nighttime. Okay, so let's very quietly go up the stairs here. Make sure there's no zombos down here because we know we have a sleeper nearby. Let's get up through here. Close that. Come on, Zombo. Nurse Nancy. Off with your head. All right, I'm going to put... Um, let's put our torch down in place of this for the moment. Just so you guys have some light here. Okay, we're not going to go through that door right now. I want to get the upstairs cleared. Nice. Another can of chili. And some dog food, I think that was. Okay. We're going to pick that up and probably end up scrapping it. We'll get a little bit of leather out of the deal. Okay, let's very carefully look-see up here. The light is making us less stealthy, but we got a C too, so. All right, now, if you guys didn't know this, when you see these little... That was a, a zombie expiring. Uh, when you see these little trash piles, you want to clean them up because if you step on them, they'll make noise and alert sleepers. Most of you probably know this, but just in case there are some watching who are brand new to the game, I'll mention stuff like that when I think about it. Okay, that door's locked, so we don't need to worry about securing that area at the moment. Pain pills are always welcome. Ooh, and we got a couple of bookshelves, too. Okay, I want to close both of these doors because I don't know what's outside. Pipe bombs, very welcome. And a weighted mod and 2x scope. Okay, cool. Um, this we're going to harvest for um, leather. Well, we get leather and wood. Because we're going to need leather to make our first forge. And we'll also harvest this too. Okay, so th we've secured the immediate area here. It sounds like... Um, we got a zombo down below. It's probably that bow zombie. So, can we get you to come over here? Oh, I'm crouched. Come on, get up there. Okay, what we're going to do is put that there. 
Okay, come over here, dummy. Alright, his AI doesn't want to come this way. That's right, he's here, so... We'll take him out over here. Either way works. Uh, there's his, uh, an Arlene zombie out there. Arlene is um, also one of the fastest zombies in the game, so because of that, she's pretty dangerous on it. On insane. Let's get her attention. We might as well kill her and get some XP. You dead? Okay. Over here, Arlene. So rocks are useful for distracting zombies, but they're also useful for calling them to you. If uh, you're in a situation where you want to call them to you. Come over here. There you go. Oh, she's going to go through there too. Okay, we're going to need to block this area here that uh, the other zombo opened up. Someone's trying to come through the back door too. Yeah, don't don't ever underestimate Arlene. She is wicked fast on Insane Nightmare. I should say on Nightmare, because Insane doesn't affect their speed, just their toughness. Okay, so we have this other Zeker trying to break through. Let's just kind of assess. Okay, so they're not going to get through immediately, so let's put these here. And uh, just upgrade that at least one level. Now, uh, we're going to put this here and upgrade it to cobble. And now we have another area where we can easily fight Zekaruskis. Let's help this one through and we'll kill her. And then we're going to get our bedroll put down. Ah, she's dead. Thought we already looted that, but I guess not. Okay, so let's go ahead and go upstairs. Oh, I'm going to go grab my torch so you guys can see what's going on here. And I think we'll I think we'll set up shop here, but we really do kind of need to um secure the roof as well. Uh, so let's get rid of this. This isn't doing anything for us at all. We'll get a little bit of wood out of the deal. Um, and I'm just going to put the bedroll here for now. And let's go just look out here and see what's going on. Okay, so nothing around that way. Okay, so this way is secured. I uh, can't tell for sure, but there might be a Zombo over that way. So let's um, let's kind of block that off for the moment, and I think we're gonna nerd pull up to the roof. We want to be really quiet because there could be uh, vultures up here, and we don't want to get their attention. Alright, I don't see anybody at the moment. Shit. Okay. Alright, if it's if we're just talking about Nurse Nancy here, let's just do a, a single upgraded wood. And let's take her out. Because she's oh there's actually two zombos, okay. Well we just have to mine the wood block in this situation. Okay, this sucks when this happens because they glitch through and we're out of stamina, so this is not a good situation. Get the frick up. I'm stuck. All right, well, there you go. Couldn't do anything about it. Sometimes they'll glitch through like that, and uh, when they do, 
you're screwed. <laughs> you're pretty much screwed. And I couldn't, I, I was stuck in the stairwell. I couldn't get out of the stairwell. Now, we have an interesting conundrum here because my sleeping bag is in the same exact room that we got killed in. So let's just see what happens. Well, that was convenient. Okay, so uh, yeah, on occasion, the zombies will actually glitch through like that, and when that happens, you know, you're if you can't kill them, you're pretty much hosed. Um, so yeah, sometimes it happens. All right, so we have somebody back downstairs. Let's deal with them. There we go. Why couldn't we have done that to the nurse? Doggone it. <laughs> okay, let's repair that. And uh, go back out here again. So we're going to keep that blocked off. Let's just do the same thing uh, that we did before. Shit, there she is again. Oh, that's not good. Um, son of a bitch. Okay. What we're going to do in this case is come around here. Oh, shit. Oh, is she going to... Oh, no. Okay. I was going to say, is she going to get stuck there? But no. All right. So here's what we're going to have to do. Whew. Okay. That was close. Didn't want to use my cobblestone blocks, but I didn't have enough wood frames on me, which I'm aware of, but we're also really, you know, short on wood, so I didn't want to make... A whole bunch more of those either but we really need to because we just about bought the farm again and that would have been my fault for not having enough wood frames on my my toolbar so that's a situation of learn by learn from my mistakes <laughs> uh okay now i think here let's uh let's just kind of hop up a little bit further and see what the situation is What I want to do is get back inside of here, get that door closed. All right, now, can we get them to come here? Let's pick those back up. We got a crawler coming through. I'm not sure what else they're banging on. Oh, downstairs. Okay. So yeah, it's a it's a major struggle in the early game, man. No doubt about it. Major struggle. And that death sucks, too. And we have a sprained, probably a sprained leg, I'm guessing, on top of everything else. So there you go. <laughs> uh, okay, so definitely don't need that. Let's take care of this dude up here. Actually, here, let's do this. Let's let him through and just take him out that way. Oh, he's not dead. Holy shit, I thought he was dead. Oh, man, that could have gone really bad for us. Our health is in the shitter now. <laughs> okay. Let's go this way. This door is still here. Yeah, okay. So we can retreat to there and close it if we need to. All right, I don't see anybody in there. Nobody appears to be back here. Oh shit! <laughs> I didn't see him there. 
Oh, he got us! Damn it, Jim! <laughs> he snuck up on us. Crap! Well, there you have it. Two deaths. Two deaths. Um, all right. Let's uh, let's uh, assess the situation there. I should not have gone around that corner uh, the way that I did because I didn't have a way to, um, uh, you know, to block him. Uh, but I didn't see him either. Wait, where the hell's my backpack at? All right, we ran back this way. It fell on the ground. Lovely. Okay, so... Oh, shoot. Now what we're going to have to do is go back down here. Yeah, that mistake... The mistake I made there is I got myself into a situation where I couldn't block the zombie in. And I should I should know better, but, you know, shit happens, right? Um, So this is in the way of us getting out of here. I could pick the land coin block up to get out there, I suppose, but oh, not a good situation. I have no tools is the problem. Yeah, we might have to pick this up and very carefully go out there. But yeah, here again, you know, learn, learn from my mistakes. The big mistake that I made there is I got myself into a situation where I couldn't block the zombie in, and I, I am in no way, shape, or form you know, in a situation where I can take any of these zombies on head to head at the moment. We will be able to later on, but not right now. And I wasn't thinking, so I paid the ultimate price for it. Anyway, let's get over here and grab our, our bag, which is right here. What we need to do is we need to have a a means of ingress into the building so you know when we are outside we can get back into it but st still prevent the zombies from getting in um so the best way to handle that is to set up the you know another hatch uh, type of situation um so we could probably do that here I don't have another LC block, do I? But we got we got a pretty decent amount of stone, so let's do that. I'm gonna just scrap this. So we get six leather from that. That's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna break this block out and we're gonna put a hatch in there. Okay. So now we can get back into here if, uh, you know, from the outside, if we fall off the roof, for example, or otherwise <laughs> come back outside. And yeah, I should have done that to begin with, but, you know, can't think of everything all the time. Can't think of everything all the time. All right, you guys. Well, <coughs> we have, we still haven't completely secured the building here, but we've secured enough of a place for us to, um, can I make another torch? I can't. Uh, well, actually, I can. I think I got the stuff in here. Uh, we, we've secured enough of the building, you know, to... There we go. You know, to uh, get started is what I'm trying to say. Uh, but we do want to, you know, eventually get the rest of the building cleared, which we'll probably work on doing in the next episode. We just have to be a little more careful and not get ourselves out into the open like we did there um, and, you know, get ourselves in trouble. I might actually do the hatch uh, over here too. So I think I'm going to break this and also put a hatch in here because that way we can also get in from this side of the building if we need to. That way, and we don't have to run around and having you know Nurse Nancy chasing us. So, anyways, guys, I'm going to let you go here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and um, don't forget we do have a membership. Hit the join button, take a look at the three tiers that are offered, and if it looks like something you'd like to be a part of, be glad to have you on the channel. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.